on the scene, on the story. This is News 9. Well, I'm thinking this may just be the most uplifting story you're going to see all day. A dog born with upside down paws is recovering tonight after a critical surgery. News 9's Allie Brooks is in Stillwater with Milo's journey to getting back on his paws. The puppy named Milo was just a few weeks old when he went through extensive surgery due to his medical condition. But thanks to the veterinarians here at Oklahoma State University, he's now on the road to recovery. Soon after birth, Milo was given to Oliver and Friends Farm Rescue and Sanctuary in Luther due to his deformity. They were going to euthanize him if they couldn't find rescue. So they contacted us um, and we um, agreed to take him in and give it a try. They quickly took him to OSU's Center for Veterinary Health Sciences to see what could be done. Dr. Clary took the case. Uh, the first time I saw him, I looked at him and no surprise to anyone, I recognized yeah, he had a serious problem. Uh, fortunately, it was a problem that I've seen before. I've seen two other puppies with this problem uh, in the 27 years that I've been doing surgery. How a puppy's paw can become upside down, the answer actually involves the joints higher up. The problem begins with a dislocation of the elbow joint. With the elbow out of joint, the forearm can then rotate 120 degrees. The remainder of the abnormal rotation that brings the paw upside down occurs as the shoulder joint opens up. This opening of the shoulder joint makes it possible for Milo to use the front legs to crawl. Come here. There we go. Come on. Good boy. For his procedure, for each elbow, we had to make an incision on the side of the elbow, get down into the joint to realign the bones, and then once we had the bones realigned, then we went ahead and placed a, a pin across his joint to help keep his elbow stable while his body could then heal. After Milo's surgery, it was necessary to keep him in a front body splint for a little over two weeks. At the end of that time, we removed the pins from his elbows and began rehabilitative treatments. Twelve hours after the pins were removed, Milo stood, paws right side down, for the very first time. Soon he was taking baby steps. While in the hospital, Milo received rehabilitative treatments under the direction of Dr. Kara Blake, a board-certified surgeon and certified canine rehabilitation therapist. Those treatments have continued at home and include swim sessions and short walks. Before Milo's bandages were even off, he became an international celebrity as his story found its way into the mainstream media that included virtually all the major outlets, including the Associated Press. Social media was also a buzz as well-wishers from all over the world registered their support for an adorable puppy who we have truly been blessed to serve here at the Teaching Hospital of Oklahoma State University. Milo continues to make great progress. He's growing like a weed, gaining muscle mass, and his function continues to improve. He seems a very happy and mobile puppy we could not be more pleased.